everybody. I'm back with something really cool. Baby sleeping in the other room, so I'm trying to stay a little on the quiet side. So in this video, we've got the amazing, badass, arguably to me, the greatest chassis ever designed. I said it. Don't care what you think. I said it. <laughs> this is from... Ugh, I always want to say it wrong. This is from Fab Masters RC Works. Works. Um, sticker right there. It's a sticker sheet. So this is his designs and then... Logo and whatever. So, this guy is in Penticton, British Columbia, Canada. I'm in Victoria, so he's in the interior, actually close to where I'm originally from. Um, but he's local to me in the sense of my province, so it'd be like a state if you're in the States. He makes LCG frames or competition frames and this is his newest style so you can see why it's called the knuckle buster and this is built to fit SCX10 platform or SCX102 which is what I'll be using but just beautifully built got your rear upper link mounts there just such good quality amazing quality there. tranny mount or uh, skid mount I should say holes in your rear bumper obviously I'm gonna have to custom make either out of the old plastic um, shock tower or the metal ones that I actually have on this truck I will do the same and I will cut this part off so I'll just cut that right off because I'd, I'd like to have metal it's a little bit better uh, considering how amazing this chassis is but again both sides so here's the front very aggressive front end and that just beautiful knuckle bust ducks, really. So, you know. <laughs> It'd be like this. <laughs> amazing, amazing chassis. So, again, you can see why this is called the knuckle buster chassis. It is just so badass looking. Uh, I love it. I saw the picture uh, that he posted up when he initially made these and I fell in love with them. It took me a little longer to get it than I anticipated. But I needed to finish kind of getting this build where I wanted it to be in the first place. Body might have to be adjusted with the holes, which is fun. Everything on this, take the frame rails off, and everything will mount onto here. Um, being that these weigh, I think they honestly might weigh less, I don't know, than these, these ones here, the C channels. I think they weigh less. Um, not too sure how I'm going to fully have it set up. I want to get it as low as I can, and I can do that with this. I've already stretched out the front axle, as you can probably tell. I um, just haven't gotten a video done for you guys to show that, but I just added slightly longer links on the bottom. So I, I put the longer links on the bottom that I had kicking around and then I put 
bottom link from here on the top link because it was that right difference that I needed. Um, still have very, it's very aggressive. Very aggressive uh, drive shaft angle there. I'm gonna admit. Um, but I think I can fix that once I get the shocks much more forward and have it actually sitting in a better position. Um, but I also might be switching out axles. AR-44s, might go on the Capra, I think I might turn the Capra into much more of a Ultra 4 style truck. Um, small, like, shorter axles, because they technically are, I would imagine, yeah, definitely on the shorter end, but a little bit more built for, kind of what a bomber would be built for. Um, but one nine, and with the I don't like the huge AR sixty pumpkin. I'd rather go with the AR forty four. Could get the AR forty five, but I'm putting my money to something else that you guys will see in a future video. So, yeah, this might have cap axles under it. So I think that would definitely stretch the stance out. Um, not necessarily stretch it out, but make it just much more aggressive, is what I'm saying. Get the portal axes under it. I'm trying to make this into more of a comp truck. So that's the portals, the three gear transmission, much better combination. And then I can have the Air 45s set with a bit more of a speedier transmission, go faster. Um, in my opinion. I might be wrong on that. But we'll see what happens when I do it. This is a brand new hat for my beautiful fiance. Uh, the kind hat. Um, so, really cool. It's my birthday on Wednesday, so, uh, yeah. So, I got a hat. <laughs> she also has uh, bought me some goodies for the Capra up there. Um, some nicer shocks. I'll leave it at that till the video. Um, so yeah, really cool stuff coming. Obviously, we'll have. There's a light right there. I keep putting stuff there. I'll have. These are just the Endura rims, um, but they've been really holding up well on the power wagon. I might not have seated these properly because yeah it's like right there pop the bead just a little bit but I'm also going to buy new rims for that at some point so things are changing but back to the more important part of the story sorry uh fab matters if you're watching this, um, I tend to veer off really easily. So, amazing chassis, just amazing. Um, and the link to his Facebook will be in the description down below. Um, you might have to copy and paste or it'll just work, but uh, I highly recommend checking it out. It's, he just, his work is amazing. And I bought this. Can you guess what that is? Right there. That's right. He made limited edition bottle openers. <laughs> so they say Fab Matters. And it's a it's a nuck bottle opener. Twenty bucks, limited edition, limited run. I don't know how many he's gonna do. 
nice and thick. But uh, yeah, very cool. But you can just see the the, the design he like he, he goes with aggressive and badass. So I might not open bottles all the time. But it just looks badass, so I wanted one. <laughs> Much like, as you guys have seen, I wanted these. It just utter beauty. I mean, just you know, I've seen a lot of nice ones out there. G Speed has amazing ones. I like, you know, they got the G in in the shock tower part, but. Just the different amount of spots I can put. So I can have, because my axle will be about here, my shock could be like fully forward. Just full aggressive. Um, same up front, so I want to get, because my axle will be about here. Yeah, it'll be about here. I can have that shock all the way over here. So just bring that might be too, a little too aggressive there, but I have all of these points to put my shocks. Three different spots for my upper my upper links up here. And if I go with the the capper axles, I'll have four uh, four link, which just means I have to get a axle mount servo axle. Servo, mount, uh, servo axle mount <laughs> for my Aero 45s to be able to mount a servo on there to put them on the capper over there. Um, and then all these different links there, link mounts there. So just super, super aggressive. Um, this might actually help that. So if it's up here, bring it down, it might help take that angle of my drive shaft by just lifting it up a little bit and being able to kind of tweak that. I don't know if I'm right on that. Um, we'll find out. <laughs> Back axle, if I want to go short, bring it right in. If I want to go long, I can go all the way back to there. Uh, just, ugh. And plenty of things. Um, obviously right here. Yeah. Right there, I'll have my uh, panhard mount. So I'll mount it there. That's if there. I did not mean to finger you guys. Terribly sorry. I'm gonna mount the Air 45s. See how I like the look. But I really think capper axles underneath of this would just bring that like ultimate comp crawler look that I'm wanting to go for, so I could eventually go do comps. Um, do. I've put on a comp, but I've never actually participated in a comp. Um, my own reasonings, uh, but uh, just do with my vision. It's, it's not the greatest. I'm a little self-conscious. We'll just put it that way. But I'll get there. Don't worry. I will, I will push. <laughs> push on. I will. Um, but yeah. So, And then, uh, I think this is, <sighs> I think this is his group, or is what his company's name is, even though it's Fab Matters, at least him, his part, this might be a bigger thing. I will put the link to these guys on my description as well, but um, Rock Dogs, uh, very cool, very cool, very cool. Um, again, just with everything, aggressive, just badass, it's just the look I'm really going for, for my build, man. <laughs> and one last look, stickers. So obviously, every one of my trucks will have one of these stickers on it. Uh, the big one being that this is the build it's going to be, as long as that body can go on it. 
Um, if the... I might be okay if I just switch up the body post mounts. I might manage it fine. But we'll see. Um, but no matter what, the big sticker will go on the power wagon. Because it will be a power wagon no matter what. These little stickers, so I'll probably put one of these on the Capra, on the Ford, yeah, on the little uh, SX20. Oh no, no, I'm not putting stickers on the S -S 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 SX24. So just to keep these bigger ones, I might actually put this on the Capra, this on the Ford. Um, because I think like that. Where am I going to put stickers? As you can see on my toolbox, there's a Yeti sticker everywhere on this toolbox. Because I like Yeti. And by the way, this video is not brought to you by Yeti. This is a sippy cup. Anyway, guys. Um getting more subscribers so thank you very much um, remember like comment subscribe or don't like if you don't like it whatever do what you want um, but all the help means a whole lot um, I, I don't keep up to all the big guys out there uh, but I do this on my the time I have, and it's slowly becoming better. Um, if you remember my old videos, there was usually only one build going on. Towards the end, I had two, and then I just got crazy and life kind of took off, and I had to take a break. Now I have multiple builds, lots of stuff changing into different things and just I'm keeping myself occupied with any one build at a time um, but doing it at a pace that's healthy for me good for you guys and just trying to keep better stuff coming uh, I'm gonna try and start doing cooler run videos where it's not just like still shots scene by scene I'm going to try and do some moving shots and just, you know, get a little cooler with my filming abilities. Because that's how we do things. But yeah, so... That matters. Because it does. And his shit awesome <laughs> seriously though amazing quality fantastic craftsmanship and fucking badass I don't think I need to say anymore I'm just trailing off so everybody I hope you had a great weekend um, I will try and get a video done in the next week to two weeks uh, I'll be having, I'll have tons of more new stuff coming in over the next week to two weeks. So, plus updates on this build, which I know you guys want to see. But, definitely go take a look at his work. Um, he's actually starting to make trailers now, so really cool. And, uh, stay tuned. Have a good one, everybody. Peace out!